Hi friends, today we're gonna do another Code War Scatter and this time it's gonna be coding meetup number one higher order function series count the number of JavaScript developers coming from Europe. That's a really short and catchy title. <laughs> so uh, anyway we're gonna, we're gonna do, be doing this uh, coding meetup series and I found that that's a really good start for beginners. Very good way to uh, be introduced to JavaScript. And uh, they have a bunch of a bunch of those uh, meetup um, meet coding katas in in the series. So today we are starting the first one. All right, and let's get to it. First of all, as always, let's check out. The tests okay and I'm going to expand my text section all right what do we have here uh, first of all uh, I'm importing I'm importing my chai my expect to be more precise uh, from chai Like that okay so I have chai available uh, for me and uh, more precisely the expect statement from chai I am changing the vars to const just they they look they look more similar to the code I, I normally write and I, I write the ES6 code just basically that's it no probably not writing any wires like ever right and yeah so the first one should be uh, list one is one list two is zero okay but let's try to do it with properly with the describe so I'm describing the function count developers right And first one should work with list one, right? Should work with list one. And I expect count developers one to be equal to one, right? You might be wondering why am I doing that? Why am I like rewriting the tests? The tests are written. What are you doing? Uh, so I am doing that because I want to get, want to make a habit of always writing the tests, right? Always doing my own tests, not relying on other people testing things for me. Also, I find my uh, my approach to be. Uh, not necessarily like nicer that's that depends on your taste but at least it is consistent I always do that and uh, for this reason for this reason my code my my tests are looking very similar to each other so second test this time I expect it to be equal to zero. Uh, why is that? First of all, it's like given, they, it should be right. Second of all, look, the language is HTML, right? They don't have JavaScript developers. What we have to do is we have to like first check if the continent is Europe, second check if the language is JavaScript. And no JavaScript developers in the second list. In the first list, let's check it. Oh, uh, this guy Noah from Switzerland is JavaScript developer, right? So we are counting him. Then there is a JavaScript developer, but he's from uh, Tahiti and uh, Taiwan, Tajikistan, but we are HTML and CSS developers, right? So that just this one guy. In the second list, nobody. Okay, so that's all good. Uh, the tests are done. Let's minimize it. 
and let's expand the main section. Okay, so as always, deleting everything and using uh, this this assigning variable to a function. So count developers is equal to how do we name our argument? I think we can name it to be list, right? So list is an array. That's that's not probably an excellent name name, but whatever, like list of developers. So can you guess what we are going to do? I guess you can. We are going to reduce it. So list dot reduce. It's like probably single most useful function ever <laughs> ever derived on on arrays or probably on any any type of objects so reduce uh, inside reduce we have uh, the result and value but usually to be short and since it's that that common I'm using R for result and V for value right just to be faster initial value not to forget it, initially I am setting it to be zero, right? So zero is very reasonable starting point. So now doing my checks. So if, uh, oh, do you want to see another nice trick from ES6? We can actually uh, destructurize what we care about, since we only care about Two properties we only care about the language right and also we, we care about uh, the continent so we are destructuring the second argument since we know it's an object we are destructuring it and only pulling out these two properties so that will save us like a bit of keystrokes okay or probably not probably we are like uh, since we are we are like explicitly writing these very long variable names we are losing some keystrokes but never mind it's it's more explicit it's like probably easier to understand so if language is equal to JavaScript right and a continent is equal to Europe then we have this question mark what do we do then uh, I guess it's, it's good to would be good to break it break it to a new line okay so let's break it right here so if true I am returning r plus 1. If false, I am just returning r. All right, if we can have a comma and zero depending right on this line. Proper indentation. Looks good. Let's try it. Um, Count developers is not defined. Oh, I made a mistake in my test. It's, it was out developers. My bad. So let's run the test again. Yay, the tests are passing. That's a good sign. Let's attempt to actually pass with official tests. And excellent. You may take time to refactor or comment your solution. Submit when ready. Uh, I guess we are like pretty reasonably ready. And uh, yeah, that's that was just a simple reduce statement, uh, having this return value, having this very simple check, just two conditions, like the basic basics of the basics. <laughs> so that's really easy. Seven, oh, that's seven Q, but uh, some some seven Q catas are like really challenging. Some are like that, like super easy. You can do that in two minutes. So I hope you liked it uh, and see you in the next kata.